Hello everybody and welcome to a machine learning with the Python programming language tutorial videos series. In this series we're going to be talking about machine learning. And basically I argue that really machine learning is kind of like this buzzword that everybody kind of puts up on this pedestal and makes it sound like it's a lot more complicated than it is. Machine learning is actually pretty simple, especially when we break it down into little parts. It's a lot like programming in general, which, you know, from the outside looking in, it looks really complex and confusing, uh, but we can break down every program into really basic steps that just make a whole lot of sense to anybody. So machine learning is very much the same way. And I, I think that machine learning um, is maybe even a, is like a buzzworthy name because when we call something machine learning, it sounds like the machine is somehow like learning all on its own or something. And for the most part, machine learning is what we call supervised machine learning where we're kind of guiding the machine to um, maybe how to approach a task. <clears throat> And there is a form of machine learning called unsupervised learning, which is more along the lines of what most people probably envision when they hear this term machine learning. But really a better, better term for machine learning would be just machine classification, because that's all machine learning is doing. It's just automated classification. And uh, that's not to be confused, though. There is a form of machine learning. It's a form of supervised learning called literally classification. But all machine learning is classification. Even unsupervised learning, say a form of unsupervised learning is clustering, where we just throw a bunch of random data at, at the machine and we say, you know, put this into groups however you see fit. And it's going to put it into groups or classifications, right? It won't have a, na a good name for those groups. It'll be like, you know, group A1 or something. Um, but it's classification, all right? And if you think about it, <clears throat> we do classification ourselves to learn about subjects. So um, an example would be machine learning in general, right? How is machine learning typically taught? Well, we, first people start with the concepts, the basics, right? So they say, okay, there's two forms of machine learning. You've got supervised, unsupervised. Supervised is where uh, we kind of guide as the scientists. We guide the machine. You've got, you know, classification is an example, and that's where we label the data. We know the, the, the uh, um, labels to the data, and when we give it a testing set, we know the answers, all this kind of stuff, and the machine doesn't, and blah, blah, blah. Um, and then you've got unsupervised learning, which is where uh, we don't guide the machine, and that kind of thing. And so people kind of take this in the classification, and, and we start kind of uh, learning about it. It's very uh, Aristotelian, right, where, where we, we just want to classify things as humans. <laughs> That's just kind of how we learn. Uh, when in reality, classification, while it's really powerful, it's not exactly the only way that humans learn. So we learn by classification because it's actually it's a good trait to have. But if you really look at things even scientifically, things aren't really black and white. They're more of an array. And so to an extent, classification is useful and to an extent it's not. Um, and you kind of need a mixture of both. Classification is good for us because we can make quick snap judgments based on classification, whereas machines are actually capable of processing this kind of more of an array of data um, faster than we are. So they'd probably be better at that, and I think that's kind of where unsupervised learning is, is heading right now. Um, so that's pretty cool. But anyway, the philosophical debate aside, we're uh, going to be talking about programming machine learning. And so what, what you'll find when uh, you, as we go down this path, is that actually machine learning, really simple, right? Uh, for the most part, you'll never write your own machine learning algorithm. There's already just gobs of machine learning algorithms out there for you. And we're gonna be using scikit-learn with Python. And scikit-learn has a ton of these algorithms pre-made for you. So you just use one of theirs. That's the easy part, okay, for the most part. That's the easy part. Uh, actually, what you'll find that you spend the most time doing with machine learning is actually acquiring the data. Uh, so whatever data you want to do machine learning on, you have to get that data somehow. Then uh, you need to figure out how you're going to kind of like organize that data. Um, and so like for example, acquiring data, like we're going to be using, uh, we're going to be doing machine learning on stocks and we're going to analyze a bunch of fundamentals of stocks and see if there's anything um, that we can kind of derive from the fundamentals that make a stock outperform the market. And so that's what we're going to use machine learning for. And so first we have to f acquire all this fundamental data. Well, as it turns out, there's, as far as I know, no really great easy way to acquire this data. So you have a couple sources. You've got Yahoo, or you could use uh, literally sec.gov's Edgar. 
Um, but I don't know how many of you have seen Edgar. We'll go through Edgar actually uh, probably in the third video just to show you. Because Edgar has a lot of really awesome data, right? They're just so rich in data, but the structure is very bad. And so it makes it very difficult to actually acquire that data. So you're going to find that you're spending a lot of time acquiring the data and then even more time labeling the data if you're doing supervised learning, which most of you probably will be. Um, so acquiring the data, labeling the data, and then basically structuring the data in such a way that you can feed it through a machine learning algorithm. Again, that's mostly for if you're doing unsupervised learning, or I mean supervised learning, but even in unsupervised learning, you're probably going to want to like at least normalize the data or something like that uh, to have a, a little bit higher chance of success. So uh, in reality, as I'll show you guys uh, probably in the next video, uh, we'll actually do we'll, we'll, we'll do a real machine learning algorithm and I'll show you how freaking simple it is to do machine learning. The hard part is getting that data, structuring that data, and kind of feeding through that data or even labeling that data. Um, that's really the hard part, and so that, that's what I want to show you guys uh, how to do. But we're gonna we'll go all the way through from, you know, premise. Basically, our premise is we're gonna try to figure out any if there's any fundamentals uh, with stocks all the way to the uh, end. So the last thing I want to talk about before we uh, go ahead and get all of our packages that we need is what is machine learning useful for? So like I said, machine learning isn't this thing that we can just apply to anything, right? The goal with uh, unsupervised learning is just that, is that we could just take a, a huge data set, we don't need to label it, do anything in that data set, just like throw it at the machine and have that machine just return to us all kinds of wonderful insights. That's really difficult. <laughs> um, and so far, no one really has that. Uh, Google just did acquire a company, I think they're called DeepMind. And what they did is they've got a, an unsupervised learning algorithm that they just, they throw a video game at the algorithm. And they were like, you know, these, these really basic games, just like real 2D arcade-like games, like Pac-Man. It wasn't Pac-Man, but like, like Pac-Man. Um, and they just basically threw the game at the unsupervised algorithm and didn't really say anything more. And the algorithm actually learned how to play the game um, and, and do it really, really well. Um, and one of the most eerie examples was there was a boxing game and the unsupervised uh, learning algorithm figured out how to like pin the other guy against the ropes and just like just wail the hell out of them. So, uh, so a little more eerie example of uh, machine learning. And a lot of people are definitely uh, fearful of machine learning. I know just recently uh, Stephen Hawking came out and said that we need to fear it. Um, I don't really think so. Not really. Uh, Machine learning can give us insights, but they, it still doesn't really act on those insights. And you still need this like notion of oneness or like pure autonomy away from being able us to just pull the plug or whatever. Um, and, and maybe one day that'll happen. Who knows? I do think that if you took all of the world's data and shoved it through an unsupervised learning algorithm with the goal of finding how to better the world, probably the return would be to remove all the humans. <laughs> so. That's true, so maybe we should fear this, and uh, maybe you shouldn't take part in this video because you're gonna learn how to program uh, your machine overlords, so I don't know, it's on you. So anyways, uh, <laughs> that aside, let's go ahead and get started. So uh, t at the initial outset, I'm trying to think of what else, we we're probably also gonna need pandas, but we'll get to pandas when we get there. Before we do what we wanna do in this next video, um, we need the following packages. We need matplotlib, we need NumPy, and we need scikit-learn. So if you don't already have matplotlib, you can either go to matplotlib.org and go to the downloads and get it, or if you're on a Windows machine, the easiest way to acquire packages uh, is with uh, this guy's lfd.uci, whatever. I put this link pretty much in all my videos where we have to download stuff because it's super easy. You just come here, it's a Windows binary, so 64-bit here, 32-bit here, boom, done. So really easy to get it. Um, same thing with NumPy, get NumPy. I will put, I'll put all these links in the description, so if you need the links, just head over there. This is NumPy zip, so obviously this would be a setup.py example uh, to install, or again, Windows binary. And then finally, scikit-learn.org, um, or again, you can get the binary here. So just depending on, on where you are, also, obviously if you're on like Linux or even uh, Mac OS, you'll have to install your, your, via your typical ways. Um, at least Linux, you should be able to uh, just apt-get basically all of these. I don't really, all of these are get yeah, gettable. 
Anyway, so once you have those, um, the, the next thing that we'd want to make sure we can do is uh, just just do something like this, like import matplotlib, import matplotlib, import numpy, and then uh, import sklearn. So just like type those things out, and then go ahead and just press uh, F5 uh, to run it if you're in a regular idle or IDE. Um, and as long as nothing you know catastrophic occurs, you've uh, installed everything correctly. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just cut the video here where everyone uh, downloads and installs all of these uh, packages. And um, I'll resume the video again when, um, assuming you guys have all of this installed and you're not getting any errors. Uh, at the imports and what we'll be doing is actually writing a machine learning algorithm for uh, number recognition so if anybody remembers we did a, a optical recognition basically of uh, numbers in one of my other videos we basically we coded that completely ourselves so that was our own machine learning algorithm um, relatively inefficient compared to what we'll, we'll see here um, where this basically learns and gives you the answer <laughs> all, all within really quick Quick order. So anyways, um, but that's what we'll be doing and so you'll see an example of that. So we'll actually do some machine learning in the next video. So two videos in about, what, 13 minutes uh, and you'll have your first machine learning done. You can probably quit there and just say you know how to do machine learning. So anyways, please don't. <laughs> anyway, uh, so stay tuned to the next video if you have any questions or comments, any trouble getting this downloaded um, and installed and all that, let me know. I'll do my best to help you guys out. Um, for matplotlib, if you are, you know, totally new to Python and you try to download matplotlib, uh, let's see where we hid matplotlib right here. Um, you're going to need dateutil, most likely, pyparsing, six, and if you've not installed like any other package, uh, you'll need setup tools as well. So it's likely that some of you guys are going to be like, oh, it says another module is needed. Whenever that it says that, you need that module. So, you know, head over here, get the module, or uh, get it however you typically get modules. So anyways, that's it for this one. Question or comments below. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And until next time. To easily follow along to the next part, you can either click on the link in the video if you have annotations turned on, or you can follow via the playlist link in the description.